Good morning students. In this class, I will be doing class 9 CBSE syllabus. I am doing quadrilaterals chapter. So that is the 8th chapter in our textbook. So first uh, few sums I have already completed in my previous videos. In this class, we will be doing the doing some more sums in that. Okay. So seventh sum is A B C D is a rhombus. So in the question it is given that A B C D is a rhombus. A B C D is a rhombus. Show that the diagonal A C bisects A. Um, show that diagonal A C bisects angle A as well as angle C and diagonal B D bisects angle B as well as angle D. So this is the thing you are asked to show. Okay. Two things you are asked to show. That is first one is AC is the diagonal. You are asked to show that angle uh, diagonal AC bisects this angle A and also angle C. That is the first thing we need to prove. Then the second one is BD. If you take diagonal BD, that diagonal BD bisects both angle B and angle D. This is the thing we are asked to prove. Okay. So first we will write given. So what is given? ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. Okay. To prove. What we are asked to prove? We are asked to prove AC bisects angle A and angle C. This is the first thing. Then second one is BD bisects angle B and angle D. These are the two proofs we are asked to prove. Then proof. So how will we give, give the proof for this? So we give the proof as he, since ABCD is a rhombus. All the sides are equal. We are asked to prove that uh, AC, diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C. So we will take these angles as 1 and 2. This one as 3 and this one as 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 angles we will, we will take. So we are asked to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. That is the thing your AC bisects angle A and angle C. So proof is since ABCD is a rhombus, all the sides are equal for this. So, first we will take this triangle. Triangle ADC we will take. So, since it is a rhombus, all sides are equal. These two sides are equal. That is AD is equal to CD. Since the sides are equal, it forms an isosceles triangle. And the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Okay. So, in triangle ADC, in triangle ADC, AD is equal to CD. In triangle ADC, AD is equal to CD. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 4. So, angles opposite to, angles opposite to equal sides equal sides are equal. So, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 4. So, already since this is a, this is parallel, since A, B and C, D are parallel to each other and A, C is the uh, transversal, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. So, that one we will say it as alternate angles. So, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. So, that is Alternate angles. So we will write that as alternate angles. Since it is alternate angles, these two are equal. So from these two equations, angle 1 and 4 are equal and angle 2 and 4 are equal. So from this we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So from above. From above. We can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay. So we have proved that this AC bisects angle A. The same way we will take the other side of the uh, other side of the rhombus. That is this triangle we will take. So in triangle. 
similar proof only we are going to do. So in triangle ABC, since it is a rhombus, AB is equal to AB is equal to BC. AB is equal to BC. Okay. So since AB is equal to BC, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Okay. So angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Now we need to say the same with alternate angles. So we will take this alternate angles as 1 and 3. We will take alternate angles angle 1 and angle 3. So from the above we can say that no if you are taking this as 1 and 3. 1 and 3 the same thing only will be proved. So we will take the other set. Other set of alternate angles. The same 2 and 4 alternate angles we will take. Angle 2 and angle 4. The same alternate angles we will take. Alternate angles. So if we take this one. From the above we can say that 1 and 3 is equal. 2 and 4 is equal. So angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So from the above we have proved that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So prove from above. So from above we have proved that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Already we said that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now we are telling angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So from this it is clear that AC bisects diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. As well as angle C. So from the above, from 1, if we take this as 1 and 2, if we take this equation as 1, if and this one as 2, from 1 and 2, from, from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2 we can say that AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. Now we will do the second proof. Now we will give the proof for the second condition given. That is BD bisects angle B and angle D. So the same way it has to be proved. In the previous one we have taken the diagonal AC and 1, 2, 3, 4 we have taken. In this we will take diagonal BD. A, B, C, D. We will take diagonal BD. Same way we will give names for the angles also. Four angles already given. So 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we need to prove that angle 5 is equal to angle 6 and angle 7 is equal to angle 8. Same proof only. Similar proof only. Not same thing. Similar proof only we are going to give. So, so second proof for the second one. So since ABCD is a robbers, all the sides are equal. We will take, first we will take triangle BCD. Okay. So in triangle BCD, in triangle BCD, BC is equal to CD. BC is equal to CD. In triangle BCD, BC is equal to CD. So uh, angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So angle 6 is equal to angle 7. Angle 6 is equal to angle 7. So already we know that uh, angle 5 and angle 7 are equal. That is alternate interior angles. Angle 5 and angle 7 are equal. So, so angle 7 is equal to angle 5. So this one is alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So for what, which one, this is alternate interior angle 7 and 5. These two lines are parallel and this one is transversal. So these two will be alternate interior angles. So from the above two conditions we can say that angle 5 is equal to angle 6. So angle 5 is equal to angle 6 from above equations. So from above equations we can say that angle 5 is equal to angle 6. So this one we will take, take it as third equation. Okay, so the same thing you will take, now you will take the other set of the triangle. That is in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, angle 5 
uh, sorry first before telling that we have to say AB is equal to AD. In triangle ABD, ABD, AB is equal to AD. These two sides AB is equal to AD. So angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So angle 5 is equal to angle 8. So since angle 5 and angle 8 are equal, the same thing we have to take. That is angle uh, 7 is equal to angle 7 is equal to angle 5. Angle 7 is equal to angle 5. So this one is alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So from the above two, we can say that angle 7 is equal to angle 8. From above equations. So from above equations, we can say that angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So already we have proved that angle 5 is equal to angle 6. Now we have proved that angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So from third and fourth equations, we can say that diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. So from third equation and fourth equation, we can say that BD bisects angle B and angle D. So this is the proof for the given sum. So with this I am completing today's class. So whatever doubts you have, you message me in the comment box. Thank you.